Just when you think this man can't get any more diabolical certified boogeyman, I'm the one that upped the score with him. Just when you think he didn't, he already upped the score with Drake. <laughs> this right here already says it all. So I'm here with another reaction video for y'all, but this one, like I said, this is more diabolical in a way, cause we here with Kendrick saying Super Bowl halftime show. So this man says he's gonna be a parent. He's gonna. Well, you know what? Let me just play out this video for y'all. So hold on, man, cause ain't no way Kendrick. He is too cynical with this. Hold on. Pause for you. Pause on your ass. Before I even start, y'all better make sure y'all hit that like button, man, because ain't <laughs> this man Kendrick is something else. So I'm about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And let's get it. There you go. Give me one more. Ah! Come on. Two more. Just like... He's saying one more. Hold on, hold on. You, like, honestly, you gotta pay attention to everything he's saying, cuz... Hold up a second. Ah! Actually, back it all the way up. There you go. Give me one more. Ah! Mm. Come on. Two more. Just like that. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what the deal, everybody? Mm. My name Kendrick Lamar. And I'll be performing at Super Bowl 59. Mm. Will you be pulling up? And all of us and... Hold on. You know what? Like I said, I was gonna... It's just the certain types of them fire shots and such. Them, like, little bullet shots and such with that machine. Them represents the entire thing of how this battle was and such. Just, pow! One shot. And hold on. How much districts was there in total? Because there was... Like when I, now, would I want to put? I get it that I would want to count push-ups and such, cause it was like, no, I wouldn't count push-ups for me because. But hold on, let me hear how, how much of those he was firing and such. Hold on, let's run it back. Let's see how much of those he was firing. So let's run it all the way back. One. There you go. Give me one more. Two. Ah! Come on. Two more. Three. Just like that. You ready? Four. Exactly. <laughs> what the deal, everybody? My name is Kendrick Lamar, and I'll be performing at Super Bowl 59. Mm. Will you be pulling up? Mm. I hope so. You know there's only one opportunity to win a championship. Hold on. No round tools. Let's get it. <laughs> only one opportunity to win championships. No round two. I swear, this man, no round two. This man is so diabolical when it comes to these. Five. I won't want you to miss it. Meet me in New Orleans. February 9th, 2025. Wear your best dress, too. Huh? Even if you're watching from home. Let's go. Six. Yay! That's what I'm talking about, man. Now we can get to it, for real. Come on, you gotta... You gotta... <clears throat> nah. So, uh, hold up. 
I'm sorry, but think about it like this. Each of those six shots, each of those like bullet training shots and such, like each of those six and such, them six like firing shots, right? <laughs> and look, don't call, don't get at me because I ain't gonna cap with y'all. I don't watch American football like that all the time. I know, I just, it's, it, it's in, in with me, but hold on. Talking about, man. Now we can get to it for real. Come on, you gotta, you gotta make sure you catch it with the hands open like that. Hmm. We running real routes. You gonna be messing up. Now, hey, the fact that this got over two point two million views. This came out September eighth. By the time y'all seen my video. Well, at the time of this recording, right, it's 9.13 p.m., September 10th, and this got over 2.2 .2 million views within two days, of, or two, basically in two days. Now, let me talk about the certain things here, this, and this is how I look at it. The six, the six like, bullet shots, training bullet shots, whatever, right? Now... Here's how I look at it as, because if I'm not mistaken, the six, the three, the songs that was between Kendrick and Drake. Let me see which, like, because to me, I wouldn't count push-ups and tailor-made, because for me, push-ups was basically at everybody. Tailor-made, eh, that was more of AI and such. For like Snoop Dogg, for like the AI Tupac and AI Snoop Dogg, it is what it is. But I, to me, I don't count them, cause you're like suckering them in and such. That's kind of a bait and such. I can get it. That is what it is. But to me personally, I won't count them. So, but to me technically now, so the ones we can count, Euphoria. What was the next one? Family Matters, six six sixteen in L.A. Family Matters, and then Meet the Gra Meet the Grams, and then finally Not Like Us. Think about that, Euphoria. Hold on. How does it like us like I said euphoria meet the, how I'm, I'm getting I'm, but basically them six songs I'm sorry I can't remember it off the top of my head <laughs> as I just listed them that shows you how <laughs> slow sometimes I am but think about that them bullet shots them six bullet shots that that was thrown in here that represents the six songs between them two between them two that was going on right and then when he's saying about how come on now now let, now we can really get into it because really think about it when he was like when Kendrick was going at Drake and such the ones that were like he, for me the ones when he was saying now we can get into it so like for euphoria even though he was getting into him but it was more of like trying to expose of how he is and such. Trying to like saying he don't like certain things about Drake and all that. Right? But then with Meet the Grams, that dealt into more of like really getting into it. Because he was really... Because with Family Matters, Drake was coming in trying to talk his big ish and all that. Which is cool and all. He want to talk his big ish. I ain't saying he can't. But. As soon as when 30 minutes later. This nigga Kendrick just dropped. Meet the Grams. And he just demolished any momentum. <laughs> Family Matters had. Because he was really exposing. Exposing this nigga. And then with. The hit banger of the summers. Not like us. That was like the victory lap. 
But, hey. <laughs> at the end, where he said, you only get one opportunity to win a championship, no round twos. Hey, Kendrick is diabolical with this ish. Because if that don't say some shots of Drake about no round twos, meaning that he ain't trying to, to us as the hip hop heads, well, as a casual hip hop fan, hip -hop fan of me, of me, I guess. Because I don't want y'all roasting me, but it is what it is. But no round twos? No round twos. Okay. And also, where is the super? And crazy enough, here's how it's another dig at Drake and such in two ways. One, remember what J. Cole and Drake said in the song, in one of the lyrics in First Person Shooter? Big as the what? Big as me and something like that, but big as the Super Bowl. And ain't it ironic now that that same lyric that he said, that said in such big as the Super Bowl, this man is going to be performing at the Super Bowl. And how it's another dig. Where it's performing in. Lil Wayne in Lil Wayne's hometown of New Orleans. And who is Lil Wayne affiliated with? Drake. So if that don't... And, and bro, crazy thing is, people are debating over... With the whole Lil Wayne of... Of, of why Lil Wayne should be performing at the... New, at the Super Bowl in New Orleans rather than Kendrick. Look... I mean, even if, because some are saying that the Super Bowl snubbed, some are saying like the Super Bowl said, we don't want Lil Wayne, we want Kendrick. And hey, all I'm going to say is, even if that is true, whether it is or not, the fact that you got Kendrick, who's not even from Louisiana, he's not even from New Orleans, much less Louisiana. He's not even from there. He's from a whole different state. Cause, bro. And you know what's so crazy? This is another instance of when it was another halftime Super Bowl thing. Where it was everybody who was from L.A. From Snoop Dogg, Kendrick, Mary J. Bly, and Dr. J like Snoop Dogg, Kendrick, Dr. Dre. Mary J. Bly, right? All of them were from L.A. Uh, I don't know about for... Correct me if I'm wrong. All of them was from L.A. If about Mary J. Bly. Correct me if I'm wrong. And the two people who wasn't even from L.A. Was Eminem and 50 Cent. Right? This is like this. This is like that. So really, th and plus, if I'm not mistaken, TDE is in, he, TDE, Top Dog Entertainment, is like, you know, and plus, Kendrick's also with Interscope, with MNS, is also aligned with Interscope, Aftermath. So, hey, you already know, in that connection right there, if, I mean, for goodness sakes, and when Eminem, and look, I know this is complete, how you turn that, look, think about it like this. When Eminem was doing that little face-off between him and Slim Shady, and in that little interview, he was talking about how there's this thing, there's this cure for like fatness or so, they got, they got a cure for it or something like that, basically talking about Ozempic. And then when Slim Shady was saying, but I hear the side effects, the side effect of it is, it causes pure jealousy. 
the Ozempic and what was Drake oh, what was Drake accused of of why he was wearing a vest every single time when he's performing on stage of uh, hence the name BBL Dr hence the title BBL Drizzy <laughs> so hey all I can say is do it that you will but all I'm saying is this nigga Kendrick this man Kendrick is that even when you think he's not trying to diss him still not trying to diss him he's still dissing him <laughs> and I don't even think he's even trying to diss Lil Wayne too I maybe just maybe and plus he respects Lil Wayne it wasn't it's not like he wanted to do it on purpose but I'm just saying it is kind of crazy though that the Super Bowl if if what it is true that the Super Bowl would pick somebody pick Kendrick over Lil Wayne knowing that the Super Bowl is going to be in Lil Wayne's country home home turf but hey it is what it is but hey y'all y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below let me know what you think of this in the comments below is is that a, is that like more digs at Drake and such or is it just a random coincidence? Because to me, I say it's still more at Drake. But y'all let me know in the comments below. But either than that, it's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. I'm out.